peeps, it's Melissa. So I went to go see Inside Out the other day. So the whole concept of the movie is it has five different emotions that are in the character's brain and they are joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. So those are kind of like the five like main emotions that they are showing in this movie. Anyway, I am someone that likes the whole idea of how your brain works and mental health and feelings. I absolutely loved psychology when I was in college and that's kind of like why I went into marketing and I love the idea of like consumer behavior. So when I saw the preview for this movie, I was like, I am actually really excited about this. Right before I went to this movie, I was kind of having a mini, uh, I don't want to call it a breakdown, but I was definitely having a moment. I just knew I was like, something's not right. Something's misaligned. And honestly, I've been kind of on and off about posting videos over the past I would probably say like two or three months and I've actually sat down to film videos and I've watched the footage and I haven't liked it I've just been in this funk and I didn't understand why I was in this funk and obviously I know that people go through ups and downs I think this was kind of like the longest one I've had in a while where I was just really kind of numb to everything. I didn't really have opinions. I wasn't really excited about anything. I just kind of felt like I was living in a rut and it was fine. Like I didn't have like bad thoughts. I just went through my life. I was like going through the emotions and I had no desire to sit in front of a camera and really talk and I knew something was up. So I ended up making plans to go to see this movie and I knew I was like, I'm not really sure what the storyline is here, but I know that this is going to be an emotional movie for me. And you know what? It was. I cried a couple times. The overall thing that I really got from this movie that is something that I know that I've read about in books before that I've talked about with people, that it's something that I will flat out tell people. You have to let all of your emotions kind of play together if you want to say and part of the movie two of the emotions got kind of like removed from the control room and she only had three different emotions that were trying to guide her life and she ended up getting to a point where she was numb during that part of the movie and i was like oh my god i relate to this there is joy and there's sadness and they are not working together at all so joy is trying to take over which is awesome like everyone wants to be happy like who doesn't want to be happy so joy is kind of taking over and pushing sadness away kind of like suppressing sadness and i think that i haven't like allowed myself to be sad and it's like no 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 like you're not a sad person like you are an inspirational encouraging youtuber you can't be sad like no you need to be happy like no you're not sad like it's just something that's going on whatever it's fine just push it to the side so i think that i just got to a point where my joy and my sadness were fighting so much that it couldn't be either and honestly it sounds so cheesy but i feel like i saw this movie at the exact time that i needed to see it and i felt like crying in that movie was just that release of that sadness that i'd been holding on to and it was just really refreshing to walk out of that movie and think okay i need to let my emotions flow your emotions are fluid and if you just kind of like bottle them up and suppress them you get to a point where you're either numb or you kind of snap and I kind of snapped at my friend and I knew when I was doing it, I was like, I'm acting like a ridiculous friend right now. Like, this is not me. Like, this is not who I am. Like, something is wrong. So I figured out what it is and now I'm here filming this video. So obviously I love the movie. I thought it was so cute. I love that it was mildly educational about feelings and memories and growing and how you really need to allow your emotions to kind of play together. There is sadness and there is happiness and there is fear and anger and disgust. But some of those things like have to play together so that you can live a good life. We shouldn't be afraid of anything other than joy. So I just want you guys to know that, that it's okay to have feelings and it's okay to process your feelings, but you need to let your feelings flow. So I'm learning that. So I'm hoping that's encouraging to you guys. I love you guys. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.